in a story that became famous in our times in COVID. The Noam Melech and Rav Zusha were once on one of their journeys and they were suspected of a crime and thrown into jail. And one morning they woke up and the Noam Melech looked very sad. Rav Zusha said, uh, brother, why are you so sad? You don't have faith. You don't have emuna. Chas v'shalom. Hashem, Hashem knows what he's doing. He's going to get us out of here. Don't worry about it. And the Noam Elimelech looked at his brothers like, no, that's of course, of course Hashem is going to take care of us. That's not why I'm worried. That's not why I'm, I'm downtrodden. But rather, there's only one pail here in the cell, and it's full of uh, when people go to the bathroom. And because of that, we can't make brachos. We can't, uh, I don't have water to wash my hands. We have, uh, we have ruach tuma. We, we, can't, we can't learn. We can't say brachos. We can't do anything. And I shouldn't be sad. I, I can't get close to Hashem, and I, can't, I shouldn't be sad. And Rav Zusha explained, well, wait a second. Hashem put us in a situation. He knows what's going on over here. So for whatever reason, we don't fully understand. Right now, the avoda that we need to do for a Kaddish Baruch is to not daven and to not uh, have thoughts of Torah when we're in this circumstance. When, when we do learn and when we do daven, who do we do them for in the first place? Is it just for ourselves? We're doing it for our relationship with Hashem. But for some reason, the master of the world right now says our relationship is going to be to not do, which takes a tremendous amount of courage and, and patience. So upon hearing that, the two brothers got up and they started dancing. And, uh, and, and the guard there looked, he's like, what are the Jews doing? Why are they dancing? He comes over to the cell, he's like, why are you dancing? And they explained, we're dancing because we realize that Hashem is here in the cell with us. In the pale, through the pale, Hashem is with us also. And the, the guard didn't understand. He's like, oh, you're celebrating the pail? He took the pail out. And then the brothers celebrated again because now the call was from Hashem that they should do mitzvos. The Meshiloach writes on our Parsha this week, Parsha's Emor, which describes many circumstances where Kohanim cannot do the Avod in the Beis Hamikdash. Let's say they have a mom, and under many circumstances, this blemish came, it was naturally born. It had nothing to do with what the Kohen did or what the Kohen wanted, uh, but there was an inherent blemish, a natural blemish in the person that's preventing him from doing the avoda. And it's very easy for a person in that case to look around and say, like, wait a second, why am I defective? Why am I short? Why, am I, uh, why, why can't I do all the things that, uh, that my brothers can do and that my family can do? I have the genes, I should be able to do it. And the lesson is, no, Hashem knows what He's doing. And it could be for this Kohen in this circumstance, right now, right now the call is you can't do. This Friday, Pesach Sheni, that's what Pesach Sheni is all about. It might be that at a certain time that, that there was a mitzvah, even as huge as Karban Pesach, declaration of Emuna in Hashem. Hashem says, well, let's put the brakes on, now is not the right time for you. But there will be a time that it will be your calling, and it's at that time that we, that we do the action mitzvah, and we proactively do whatever is what we call normally prescribed uh, as a mitzvah and to follow the Torah. This is such a great lesson, even post-COVID, for every day of our life, that we always have to be aware of what's going on this particular second. What's the call of the moment? Not just am I doing mitzvahs robotically, not just am I fulfilling Ratzon Hashem as a routine, but is this really what Hashem wants from me right now? Because if we're in that habit of discerning what does Hashem want from me right now, sometimes yes to and sometimes not to, then we'll also be in the habit, maybe when it's a little bit rougher for us, uh, where we're not so in the mood to do a mitzvah, but already in the habit. But what, what, is, what, what does Hashem want from me? We'll do the mitzvahs then as well. Help us take the lessons of COVID when the call was not to go to shul, as crazy as that was if we remember to take those lessons of the Noam Elimelech, of the COVID, of the Mum for the Kohen, and internalize those so that we can value each second knowing what does Hashem want from me right now. Have a great Shabbos.